guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm gonna talk about what is going on in the colombian television media so i just became more active on my reddit account and i was scrolling through reddit and i saw this post entitled colombia watchtower to play jw movies this weekend which was easter weekend and this is in Spanish, but basically this is the dates and times and the movies that will be played. They share the links. And I'm going to play this video. A las 12.30 p.m. y domingo 31 de marzo a las 3.30 p.m. Uh, uno diría, bueno, puedo verlo en la aplicación. Y eso es cierto, puedo verlo en la, en la página, y es cierto. Pero del Departamento de Información Pública nos están pidiendo el favor de apoyar esta iniciativa ¿no? de la organización. Porque ustedes saben que los canales de televisión se manejan por rating. Entonces, si no tienen rating, entonces no colocan más. Pero si tienen rating, la idea de la organización es que nos permitan o pues permitan al Departamento de Información Pública colocar más películas de la organización. Uy, uy, uy. Allí en, la, en Telecaribe, ¿no? También wow. en el Pacífico también va a transmitir. Yeah, bueno. Entonces queremos apoyar la iniciativa. Eso. So the caption on the bottom of that video is the translation into English. It says, you might say, I can see it on the page. JW sites, but the public information department is asking us the favor of supporting this initiative of the organization because you know that television channels are managed by ratings. So if they do not have ratings, then they won't show our videos. The idea of the organization is to allow the public information department to place more films from the organization. I am completely shocked. But you know what? It makes complete sense. Sorry, there's like a little moth here. <laughs> Florida life. It makes complete sense that this is why they decided to do the media center. They had to expand. They spent millions of dollars in the whole setup of the JW broadcasting. That was just the beginning. And I didn't even see I didn't even see this coming. This was just the beginning of their whole set camera lights action. JW broadcasting was the tip of the iceberg. Now they're going to be producing movies. And then they want the television networks to play their movies. This is you know what? I got to give it up to the Watchtower. I got to give it up to whatever department does. Whatever the, the media department. Because this is genius. The ship's unique design suggests that there were no Huh? Huh? Oh, come on. You got to admit this is cool. Everything else is failing. Thousands of people are leaving the organization in droves. This is the perfect way to try to get people into your cult. They're going to start playing movies in these countries like Colombia because they know that these people are more, more religious, more conservative, and they are going to be more likely attending meetings and going roped into a cult without even knowing it because they're going to catch something on TV and they're going to say, they're going to look at the production, number one, and be like, wow, this is really great production. Number two, they're going to see that, wow, this is like super accurate to what the Bible says. They're going to think that, that Jehovah's Witnesses are the closest to the Bible as you can get. Because honestly, that's what I would say about Jehovah's Witnesses, that they teach what comes from the Bible and that they only teach what comes from the Bible. They teach a false Christ and they are misleading millions of people. And they are disguised as this religion that is sola scriptura that they teach everything from the bible and and that they don't they don't engage in, in pagan activities and and things like that that they are completely different from everybody else because they they have always had this reputation of being no part of the world right, right. but that's not even true anymore now they change the dress and grooming under under the pretense that one day jehovah's witnesses are going to have to blend in with the crowd they're using a fear tactic to <laughs> 
to justify why they changed the dress and grooming i don't believe that i believe they just changed the dress and grooming for gen z for the new for the new generation so that they can um gain new members and it's going to feel like any other non-denominational church yeah sure you can come in pants yeah sure whatever as long as it's clean as long as it's iron as long as it's modest you're good to go no i'm sorry that's not good enough for me no i'm sorry being a jehovah's witness for me was completely different i grew up in a very strict and devout jehovah's witness household being a jehovah's witness you were very different from everybody else it was apparent in your dress it was apparent in your speech it was apparent in every aspect of your life not something that they can confuse you for something else there was a point to be made that we were different from mormons that we were different from scientologists they would compare us all the time and that's why my mom used to always tell me those things yeah they compare us a lot to those uh, to those cults she would correctly identify those organizations as cults but not us because we are different and that makes sense because we literally were and we felt like we were doing what Jesus wanted us to do, which was to go two by twos and to go from door to door and to preach the good message. So I can see how people can easily get duped into becoming one of Jehovah's Witnesses because that's how it used to be. Nowadays, I can't even I can't even see how you can um, convert somebody today without either not telling them the whole truth or lying about the past of the organization there's just no way hopefully that person does their research and sees how inconsistent they are so that they can identify them as false prophets as what they are false prophets when i see something like this that they're making movies and then they they are going to stream them through television so that the network can get ratings and therefore they will continue to hold the time slot for jehovah's witnesses so why are jehovah's witnesses once again using satan's system we were we know that satan uses hollywood that satan uses the governments that satan uses um the internet these are all demonic platforms why are why is watchtower using demonic platforms to promote their message wasn't that the whole point of doing jw broadcasting was to create your own streaming service so that your own members and other people can download it and view your your content on there why are you using satan's system once again this is crazy to me and then you know what what if they get kicked off the network? What are they going to say? That the that the network dropped them because they're persecuting them? Because they're discriminating against them? Because of, uh, of one of their policies? Like, how many more times can we use this victim card? You know, this is what they do. Watchtower wants to blame everybody else except themselves. That's like always getting into relationships and not knowing why they keep breaking up with you and you're always blaming the other person for being toxic and you never think to yourself to look in the mirror like maybe it's you maybe it's you watchtower so you are trying to wedge yourself to get a seat at satan's table and then you're gonna get mad when they take that seat away and you're gonna throw another tantrum and you're gonna do another broadcasting and then you're gonna say how much of a victim you guys are but it's just crazy to me how you would even try to get on a network like why are why are you doing this for what is this another way of getting money here comes the money here we go money talk here comes the money now that i'm fully awake from this cult i'm starting to think that everything has to do with money give me 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 isn't money the root of all evil isn't that another temptation that satan gives is money i feel like they are so desperate that they are trying to find anything and anybody to give them the light of day they are literally using donated funds to start this whole media company basically this whole 
production of making movies and streaming it, probably they're probably gonna make money from it. I mean, what what's next? A subscription based streaming service? Trying to make as much money as they can. That must mean that they are bleeding money or that they're not getting half as much money as they used to get. And that makes me happy. Just wanted to thank you for always watching my videos and I'll just catch you in the next one. Down.